don't know. Do you think I should call her? Oh, you don't need to worry about Vicky, Chrissy. She's got a red screw on. Yeah. Just keep wondering what Dem would do. Tie him to the back of his car and drag him around the square, most likely. <laughs> yeah, well, I was never very good at knots. <laughs> Did you hear that? Dennis? No, it can't be them. They left first thing this morning. Well, there you go, then. Vicky obviously came home after all. Oh, playing games, is she? Well, I think she'll find she's met a match this time. Morning. Hi, darling. So, decided you preferred your own bed after all, did you? Yeah. We did, actually, didn't we? Morning. Morning. Hi. What's he doing here? He stayed the night. Oh, he did, did he? Well, I'm not very comfortable with him staying the night. Since when did you start making the rules? Come on, we're going. Sorry. What's his name, then? Tommy. Oh. He seems quite nice. Oh, have you met him? No, I just caught a glimpse of him from behind. Oh, right. So, what do you think of him, then? Yeah, he's nice. So, fingers crossed, eh? Yeah, and toes. Listen, Paul, I wondered if you'd have for me, in. Oh, yeah, he rang last night. Kathy's over the worst of it, apparently. Oh, that's good. We'll send my love, yeah? Oh, we'll do, yeah. So that's another long-distance call I'll have to make. I'll have to call Michelle, fill her in about this, Tommy. Oh, you don't need to do that, love. Why's that? You want to do it yourself, do you? Yeah. <laughs> well, no doubt she'll bring him round to meet me in her own good time. No doubt. <laughs> right, that is it. Party is over. No, Tommy no. is history. That's you putting your foot down, is it? No, that is me launching my foot into his backside and booting him out of our lives for good. Chrissy, try pulling them apart and she'll be living in his flat by the end of the week. No, so we just sit back and do nothing? Not a thing. Just take a deep breath, relax, and let it run its natural course, yeah? And that's what your dad would say. Well, dad's not here, is he? No, he isn't. Top up? Oh, no, thank you. Anymore, and I'll be dancing on the ceiling, flamenco style. <laughs> well, I studied flamenco for a while. Did you? In Spain? No, no, no. A church hall down the Mile End Road. <laughs> but if you turn the lights up really bright, you could just about imagine that you are in the Seville. <laughs> a dancer, eh, Vicky? It was news to me. Annie knows how to use a knife and fork. I'm a fast learner. <laughs> you wouldn't believe some of the boyfriends my sister used to bring home. She caught one of them siphoning petrol out of my dad's car. <laughs> he needed to get to Brighton, apparently, on his motorbike. Well, it's a long way to Brighton, Chris. <laughs> well, he never quite made it, shall we say. So you're an old hand at dealing with undesirable boyfriends, then? Oh, you're not undesirable. Well, look. I'm not going to do the old-fashioned routine of what are your intentions towards my stepdaughter. This is the 21st century, after all. And we're all grown-ups here. Some more grown-up than others. Well, I just thought I'd slip that one in before anyone else did. No escaping the age difference, Vic. And you don't have a problem with that? Not so far. All right. If you don't, then I don't. Really? You don't look too surprised, Vicky. She might change her mind. <laughs> <laughs> 